So way back when, when I went to Gonzaga University, I had gnarly feet. And one thing our coach recommended, strongly recommended, is that we all go and get pedicures. I mean, I haven't really done any research on it, but I heard that a lot of injuries start with the feet themselves. Um, and lately I've been getting a lot of very minor injuries. Um, outside from my little chest injury, um, I have some plantar fasciitis. Uh, I noticed myself getting a little bit of tendonitis in my Achilles and calves. Um, and I think it's because my feet are pretty messed up right now. They got blisters and giant calluses that probably need to be need to be treated, you know? So I'm gonna go get a pedicure, get a little foot massage, and yeah, get some nice nails. That was an incredible experience. Unfortunately, I did not record a whole lot of it because I already felt pretty awkward to begin with. So it's 1.30 p.m. on a Friday, so I'm expecting nobody to be in there. But I walk in, I just see, see a bunch of women getting pedicures as they should, you know? And it seems like everyone just stops and just stares at me like, what is this guy doing in here? I walked into that, <laughs> I walked into that store just trying to like sound as manly as possible. Oh, well, can I, can I please get a pedicure? Yeah, I have an appointment. <laughs> and so before I went, my dad said, you're paying thirty dollars to get your nails cut and um <laughs> and uh well it was a lot more than that so it was pretty incredible to be honest i can't even remember everything they did uh i guess first of all they cut my nails they uh you know like you ever been to the dentist and they have like that drill where it's like zzz, well they did that like on my toes um got rid of a bunch of all that nasty stuff on there got my nails sparkly clean um they removed a lot of my calluses, um, trimmed those down a lot so I'm not stepping on rocks every time I walk around. Um, and what else did they do? They like scrubbed my feet, gave me a full massage or a full like foot slash calf massage and it was absolutely divine. So any athlete out there, um, I'd recommend it. I'd bite the bullet, go in there, get a pedicure because it's a pretty incredible experience. Um, and also like it feels like I can walk like normally now, which is I thought I already walked normally, but like After getting a pedicure, I realized like man, my feet feel so fresh and this is incredible So yeah, this is a tennis channel after all so uh, go ahead and watch these points with me and Dan from yesterday or two days ago um, Played really well
Just finished my session with Dan. Um, felt a lot better today than I did yesterday. Time to do a little practice reflection. Um, so, where do I start? Yesterday I tried lead tape for the first time ever and I played horribly. I got worked by a 13 year old. Like I, I literally lost like most of the points. Um, he's a really good 13 year old. He's like a 10 UTR. <laughs> Today I tried putting half, half as much lead tape 
and it felt so good. Like it was hitting the ball so solid. Didn't feel like super heavy, but just had a nice, like it felt solid. Like I, I could put little effort and get big results from it. So my goal for this practice today was be able to consistently hit the ball well and in using lead tape. Um, so uh, I had no consistency yesterday. Today I wanted to have consistency and just like, I don't know, really see the ball well and make it. So I kind of want to reflect on uh, this practice I just had with Dan, uh, mainly for my own purposes. Um, Cause I still remember, I want to remember how it felt because um, felt like I was playing really well. So first of all, I think, uh, I think first of all on the serve, um, was really popping those in and getting a lot of free points with it. And, uh, so one thing I got to tell myself was when I was hitting my best serves, I was never thinking of hitting it hard. I was thinking of making sure I was using the right technique and something that like wouldn't hurt my arm. And that was... Uh, I guess the biggest thing was um, what what hurt my arm was when I kind of clinched tight onto it um, and it felt like I kind of muscled, muscled the serve. Um, so that's what made it hurt. But if I just loosened it up and let it go, just, just like that, felt, uh, felt good and got good results from it. It didn't hurt and it was faster. On all of my ground strokes, I really, really, really stared at the ball. I saw it so clearly, especially on the return. I think that was key because when I just saw it well, I was able to get good contact with it and hit it deep. Um, and that, that's really the biggest thing. Um, just really stare at the ball. I feel like that goes for everything. I think it just needs to be, be standard. Just see the ball really well. And one last thing, uh, so something something Dan told me after we played was, uh, well, I guess there are two things. First, he said, when you're, ser when you're serving like that and playing like that, how does anyone ever beat you? And I thought about it, and I, I haven't really played like that yet in a real match, so that's it's kind of exciting. I have it in me, just got to apply it. The second thing... Something I never heard of in my life until recently was, um, and this is a big positive. So, so first of all, he said, um, from the baseline, like it, it was pretty average, nothing, nothing special. But the thing that really made the difference with this was the serve. Um, he's saying I was crushing it and hitting good spots. Like he felt like it was always coming fast and he's always on the reach for it. Couldn't, couldn't get like a, can I make easy contact with the ball? And I was thinking, I was thinking about that, thinking back to like my whole life. Everyone said I had good ground strokes. If only I had a serve, you know, like that was always the biggest flaw in my game, not having a serve. So it's kind of nice to hear, like not only Dan has said this, but like a lot of people I've been practicing with, they're saying just like my serve is like my biggest weapon now, which is insane. It's something I've never thought, thought like, Obviously, my forehand has always been like my biggest weapon, but now maybe the serve is right there with it. Um, I'd like to believe that. Um, obviously, there's a lot of improvements that need to be made, but that was something nice to hear. Anyway, that's my reflection, and those are some things I want to remember in the future. One last thing I want to remind myself is it's not like I just had a once in a blue moon great serving day. It's It's been like this... Uh, pretty much every practice I've had. Like, I don't think it was an anomaly. It's something that's just been happening. Um, just just gotta keep, keep plugging away. I think we're on the right path and eventually they'll be my norm in matches.